There's a controversial study that says many cases of cancer can be prevented and that every 9 in 10 cases of cancer are actually our own fault. With me to discuss it is Dr. Charlotte McCaffrey with the McCaffrey Family Health Center. Good morning. You're welcome morning, back. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. How about the study? It came out of Stony Brook University. Yeah, you know, they were looking at, they, they decided that, you, know, you hear genetics all the time is mm -hmm. the problem. And when they're like saying, you know, for the commonness of it, the amount that we have, how frequently we see these cancers, because globally, it's too frequent to be a genetic flaw. It is something that there has to be some other component, and that's what they were looking at. They're saying, you know, is it just, hey, your genes are bad, and that's why you're getting it, or is there something else? And they say, you know, it's so common that genes and those misfires, they don't explain it, and they're saying, you know, we, when we look at the environment, smoking, drinking, our diets, all those things, they really appear to be a major, major player in whether we develop cancers or not. So our own behaviors, or rather our own bad habits, could actually be causing yeah. us to get cancer. A lot of times. In our lives. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, you know, how are we supposed to live? We can't stay in a bubble our whole lives. <laughs> you're, you're correct. <laughs> you know, yep. It's very interesting. You know, uh, C. Everett Koop uh, was a Surgeon General in, during the Reagan administration, back around 88 or so. He put out a report to the American population. It's only the second time that the Surgeon General's office has ever done it. The first time was on smoking and the detriment of it. He came out and he said, look, he goes, we're losing. We're not beating cancers. We're not beating chronic degenerative diseases. We have to take a different approach. Instead of trying to find the magic bullet or the cure for these things, we need to start focusing on trying to prevent them. And so prevention is the key. And so when you look at cancers and things, you think, okay, what is it? It's an inflammatory condition in the body that just kind of goes out of control. It's not a foreign invader like a virus or the sure, cell. Yeah. It's your own cells. Right. And it gets a bad signal. So the idea is, okay, can we do something to give the body better signals? And Penn State did a wonderful study years ago finding that if we could change our diet and clean up our environment a little bit, we can avoid almost 80% of all cancers. That's insane. So so what are some of the healthy behaviors um, that we need to start implementing right now? You know, the, the processed foods are one of the things you want to look at. You want to say, okay, if I put a processed food into my body, it doesn't break down very cleanly. And so your body has to donate enzymes, really, to that food to try to break it down. Well, those same enzymes are used for your immune system. And it's like, well, if I'm using them over here to eat my meal, then they're not guarding the walls. Mm -hmm. There's no one protecting the fort. So you want to try to stay a more natural diet, a fresh diet. You know, meats are fine, vegetables, fruits, those are all good things. I get it, you're going to have chocolate and pizza and all that stuff occasionally. That's like fine. every day. Well, you know, <laughs> and that's the key, is that how often can the body get away with it? Right. So you don't want to do too much, but you want to make sure you support your body and support it to be not inflamed where it can start a fire. Is it ever too late to start making these healthy changes? Never. Never too late. If you're sore, achy, stiff, you hurt, if you have heartburn, uh, bloating, gas pain, if you have anything like that, those are all the body telling you, hey, something's not right inside. You need to start tweaking things. So you start with the diet, which we do a urine test in our practice, to tell where's your fire at. You run that, you see where the fire is, and you start supporting the body. Clean the diet up a little bit. And we're not talking bean sprouts and tofu. Oh, all right, well, okay, it good, can be good. a real balanced, decent meal for you. You know, we do a lot of weight loss, as you know, in our practice, and that's how we do that. Yeah, it's about balance. It's about saying, okay, I want to have pizza occasionally. You can. You just have to know how often you can get away with it. In moderation. Yep. And we can still have meat. Absolutely. You know, meat is fine. It's the processed meats that get you in trouble. Gotcha. The salamis and the hams and things like that. All right. As always, thank you so much thank for you. being here, Dr. McCaffrey. We'll, we'll see you soon. All right. Very good. <laughs> After the break, we're talking about...